Voila, fake facial structure. Gosh. Hey guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. So, I know, we're all thinking the same thing. Alyssa, why do you look like that? I haven't activated the Operation Catfish yet. We're gonna go from this to this. Oh, crrr. So, I already, um, I already did my eyebrows a little bit because I don't know, that's what beauty gurus do. I feel like that's what I should do, so I'm gonna try something new. Oh, bars. I filled them in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Obviously, I still haven't figured out the autofocus, but that's okay. The first step to our catfishing process will be one of the most important. Now this is to make it look like you have a filter on your skin, okay? To do so, we're going to be using the Infallible Pro Glow, and I'm going to, by L'Oreal, by the way, I'm going to mix two shades. I'm gonna mix 202 and 205. Honestly guys, I got this foundation yesterday, don't even know if it matches my skin tone. But we're gonna find out together. I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand and mix it together. Um, looks pretty all right to me. Oh, I didn't prime my face, bro. Okay, I guess we're skipping primer today, guys. But yeah, you're just gonna slap that all over. As I said, this step is extremely important because this is what's going to give us the filter look. Bro, is the air conditioning serious right now? Okay, sorry guys, ignore that. So as I was saying, did I get it? That I got in my hair. So as I was saying, this it's go is what's going to make it look like we have a filter on our face, and that's the whole point to not look like yourself. Voila, filter activated. Um, one second, guys. I'm gonna go put my my weave up. I don't know about you guys, but I am back and ready to catfish. So next, y'all hmm. know about them lap lines. We don't play. So, for this, we're gonna be taking the NYX Professional HD mm. HD Studio Photogenic Studio Concealer. That is a long ass name. And we're just gonna plop that under our eyes. That looks really bright, but that's all right. Once that's applied, just blend your little heart away. Once that's done, we gotta ensure that all of our hard work is not going to go to waste. So, we're going to set our face. Bro, bars again, oh my gosh. First, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques 201. And the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in shade two. And just gonna dust that all over my artwork. We're going to take a smaller brush and take the air spun powder and set our under eyes. Now listen, I'm not a beauty guru, so I'm very aware that my steps may or may not be out of order. And guess what? That is A-OK -okay with me. So, next I'm going to just bake my lap lines with the same powder that I used for my under eyes. Turns out I do have friends. Oh shoot, okay, too much powder, too much powder. Okay kids, now while that is baking, we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow because you know, why not? We're gonna do this whole catfishing thing. We need to go all out. We want as many likes as possible. Okay, okay. First, we're going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm just gonna use the same concealer that I use. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're gonna take shape tape and put that on. Oh, I just got my lashes done today. These ones are gonna be hard to work around. But you know what? Anything for you guys. So next, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my lids and just 
it could be easier to get a brush to blend it out. So we're gonna use a brush. This is the Large Eyeshadow Brush by Sonia Kashuk. Just gonna blend that on our lids. Hmm. Pretty handy little brush here. Once we're done with that, we're gonna take the e.l.f. <laughs> no Name Brush, and we're going to take that same powder that we set our under eyes with and just set our eyelids. Because as I said, this hard work cannot go to waste. We need it to stay in place. Bro, bars part three. Oh my gosh. So, Blending Crease Brush by... I want to say this is by Sonia Kashuk also, but I'm really not sure. I'm sorry. If you guys hear any stepping or anything, it's my mom upstairs. I'm... She obviously does not care about my YouTube career, but that's okay. Well, this palette has a lot of fallout. Anastasia, you gotta do better, sis. But we're gonna take Burnt Orange from the Soft Glam Palette right here. Here. We're gonna put that in our crease. So, um, one of the keys to catfishing is making sure that your eyeshadow is extremely blended because not only do we want to catfish them in general with our whole appearance, but we want to make it look like we really know what we're doing when it comes to our makeup, okay? In order to do so, we're just going to blend until our little old wrists hurt. Looks good to me. Next, we're gonna take Sienna from the same palette. It's like, um, same, same type of color, just a little bit more of a red tone. We're just gonna put that. Bro. Hello? Your clothes are done. Mom, I'm filming a video. Anyway, next. Oh, wait, I was already on the step. Yeah, we're just gonna put that on top of the other color. You know, as the beauty gurus say, build your eyeshadow. Oh, by the way, I'm using the same brush that I used for the first color. I'm gonna use the same brush for all of the crease colors because why not? I'm gonna be resourceful here. Catfishing on the budget. All right, guys, so I don't know what happened. My camera did some weird overheating thing and it just played my entire life. But I went ahead and finished my eyeshadow. I just put the mulberry, the darker, red shade um, in the outer outer corner and then this bronze it's called bronze literally called bronze um, shade on my lid and let me just let me give you the tea sis these shadows these shadows were incredibly hard to blend not sure why maybe it was me maybe I'm just Maybe I just can't do eyeshadow. I don't know. But I was struggling. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like. <sighs> Let's move on though. We're on to bigger and better things. Oh, shoot. I should probably take this bake off. Next, I'm going to take the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, which is the same one I feel like I always use. You know what? No, we're going to switch it up today. We want, we want to be spont spontaneous and try new things. So, we're going to use Cocoa Bronze Satin Matte Bronzer from the Becca Chloe Malika palette. I don't know, maybe this will be, maybe this will be a, a new favorite of mine. Nope, it's not. Back to what I was going to use. The Rimmel Bronzer in Sunlight. This is... What I always use, it seems to work pretty well, so we're going to continue to use it. So, the whole point of this step is to give the illusion that we have a facial structure. Now, my head is, um, it's shaped like an egg, so I don't have any facial structure. Next, I'm going to take... The uh, Expert Face Brush, the 200 by Real Techniques, and we're gonna go into the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. We're gonna mix this and this. And this is where you gotta carve, sis. 
carb. <laughs> oh, girl. And then also we're gonna chisel that jawline a little bit, a lot of it. Voila, fake facial structure. Next, we're going to put another layer of chapstick on because my lips are crusty. Now, what's next? Oh, <laughs> highlight. We're gonna go back to Milani because her highlights are bomb. If you don't know, now you know. We're going to take number two, the Day Glow Strobe Light uh, Highlighter. This one, you can't even see it. There you go. <laughs> Okay, focus back on me, honey. We're gonna take the Real Techniques fan brush and oh. I know y'all see that glow. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and highlight under our eyeball. I mean, shoot, our brows. Wow, bro, wow. Now, what? Second to last, we're going to go over our brows one more time because they do get a little messed up while I'm beating the rest of my face. This is Instagram like worthy. So, we're going to take this handy dandy brush, this E25 blending brush. Or should I take this one? Morphe M433. Nah. We're gonna take this E25 and we're just gonna take Sienna. I got a text. I really do have friends. <laughs> we're gonna take Sienna that I used on my eyes and we're gonna put that underneath because no one likes an unbalanced eye. I look. To finish it off, we're gonna take the Infallible Pro Spray Set and we're just gonna You are now ready to catfish. Congratulations. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to your girl. And see you in the next one.